I'm Colleen. And I'm Derek. And, and this is Ivy. Ivy. <laughs> Ivy is just over two and a half. She is a super cuddly, smiley, happy little girl. She was diagnosed with a mitochondrial disease when she was four months old. I had an abnormal ultrasound. They found some structural differences in her brain. They did a bunch of genetic testing. They told us that this was either completely benign and something that she would grow out of, or it was a really rare genetic condition, mitochondrial disease. After she was born, she was super lethargic. She wouldn't eat. She was vomiting all the time. We had a really rough first couple of months with her. Um, <laughs> yeah, you remembering that? <laughs> we were told that she likely only had about a year to live, so we decided to make our entire lives all about spending as much time with her as possible. And now, two and a half years later, we've gotten to spend a lot of time with her. Her disease is pyruvate dehydrogenase complex deficiency, meaning that her mitochondria don't produce enough pyruvate dehydrogenase. We're on the dichloroacetate trial with Dr. Senado. It's being run out of University of Florida. It's a super simple compound that will hopefully help her utilize the energy that she already has in her body in a more efficient way. And we've seen so much progress in her since we started the trial, and we have no idea if it's just Ivy getting older and doing her thing and being amazing on her own, or if the drug is helping out. We really appreciate everyone we've dealt with the children's. Coral has been crucial. Lori, too. So I don't think we'd understand half of what Dr. Sinedo says if if they weren't we there to translate. We have them in the room, <laughs> so. She has generally global delays, you know, development delays. She's probably like three to six months. She's G-tube fed, non-mobile and non-verbal. She has seizures. She's tired all the time. Any of her body systems that do require a lot of energy, like her brain, requires a lot of effort for her. She is blind, has CVI, so her eyes work fine, but her brain doesn't know what to do with the images. She still sleeps on an infant schedule, 16 hours a day. She has a lot of tone issues. She sees physical therapy, occupational therapy, and vision therapy. She's transitioning out of early intervention and into Seattle Public Schools. She's gonna uh, start going to preschool. She's getting a little brother. She's gonna have to learn what it means to be a big sister and share some of that attention. When Ivy was diagnosed, Knows. We didn't know anything about mitochondrial disease, and I think it took us a while to realize that Ivy was a person beyond mitochondrial disease. And now, you know, when I think of her and when I look at her, I don't see mito disease, I don't see PDH, I just see like my perfect two and a half year old kid.